What's up, everybody? We alive. Yet another day above soil. I just figure I'd take me a little walk outside because it is just too fantabulous outside to deprive myself of this beauty. I mean, this, just look around. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Not a cloud in the sky. Mm. So like I said in my last video, I went to Syracuse and I got dose number two. Y'all, that second dose made me feel some kind of way. The first dose was fine, but that second dose definitely hit different. Like the day after that I took that second dose, I was out like lights. I was feeling all feverish and whatnot. But it only lasted for about a couple days. As you can see, I'm 110% fine. So don't be using no excuse of, oh, I don't want the side effects of this. I don't want to be sick. Okay, so would you rather take the vaccine and be sick for a day or not take the vaccine and run the risk of losing your life? Think about that for a minute couldn't just wait for this video for the weekend. Nah, I couldn't because the topic is just too hot. Today, I'm going to talk to y'all about letting things go. All over the world, there are a lot of invasive species. In Australia, you have something called the cane toad. Up here in North America, you have stink bugs. You also have them little insects that look like ladybugs, but they're called Asian beetles. Those are also an invasive species. When people bring a species into a certain area that they've never lived before, they're running a risk and that risk is pretty much overpopulation of something because there's not a natural predator so cane toads were going to Australia because there was a lot of larvae that needed to be eaten the cane toads was like nope we ain't gonna eat that larvae and there weren't a lot of predators killing these cane toads. I don't know why, well, there was probably someone who brought the stink bugs to North America by accident, and now they everywhere. Same thing with the Asian beetles. They're an invasive species, and it's kind of hard to dilute that population. Understandably, it's important to think about endangered species, species that are about to go extinct. It's really important to keep those in our minds, in our hearts, so that they don't die off. This much is for certain. But what about the exact opposite, where there's too much? I mean, they could be used in different ways. They could be introduced in the same place they were originated. But I thought about this notion as far as life is concerned. Because there are some situations where we're within the course of our life and we have invasive species. We have an excess of something. And when you don't need something within your life, you're gonna need to cut it, you're gonna need to let it go. Understandably, we're going through something in the world where there's a lot of stuff going on. And with a whole bunch of social distancing, it's leaving people feeling lonely. So some people may result in adding things, whether that's adding new clothing, adding new furniture, maybe it's buying, buying new cars, buying a whole bunch of game systems, buying drugs, 
alcohol, that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong. There's some things that if you need it, then you should get it. Or maybe you're around certain individuals and you don't need it. If you're around a lot of things that you do not need, that may cause something called hoarding. Ah, but I need this in my life. I need that in my life. If I don't have this in my life, I'm not. Sometimes you're going to need to cut it and let it go. Would you rather have not a lot of stuff or have a few things that have some sort of meaning in your life and you feel fulfilled? Or would you much rather have a whole bunch of temporary stuff in your life and it has no meaning and it's running you dry. It's running you out of your energy. We do need people within our life. We do need stuff. We need our family. We need friends. We need our job. We need money within our life. But if you don't need something and it's actually taking away your sanity, you go and need to let it go. Just let it go. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy letting things go. Some, some things are easy to let go. Some are easier more than others. But today I invite y'all to do inventory, to do some maintenance within your life. Um, I did make a video about that last year. Yeah, it's somewhere around YouTube. Go ahead and look for it. But today I'm telling y'all, if you don't need something in your life, you're going to need to cut it. Because if you don't do the maintenance, if you don't cut it, those things are going to cut you. Very similar to those invasive species that I was talking about. Yeah, it is a life, but there are so many of these invasive species within our environment that they're actually causing a deterrent to the world we live in. Either they were introduced to get rid of something, or they just happen to be in a certain place at the wrong time. Sometimes we might acquire things at the wrong place at the wrong time. As soon as you realize that you have a problem with something, please change it. Because if you don't change it, it may lead to your mental health not being up to par. So ladies and gentlemen, if you don't need it, you're going to need to cut it. There's a lot of things within our society that discriminate. Death, however, does not discriminate. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. If you want to be a member of the LDX family, hit the subscribe button. It's right down below. I'm also going to include the links to my Etsy and Instagram right within the description. I'll leave you all with much love, good spirits, and vibes. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. I'm out.